What's going on guys, it's Flame, and welcome to Windward. It is an action-adventure sort of indie piratey awesome game that I came across uh, a couple of days ago actually with a friend of mine. We were like, yeah we need to, you know, like find a, a new co-op game that we can play, you know, it's cheap and whatnot. And alas, my friend actually discovered this. And I have to say, it's actually incredible fun. I've been playing it for a few hours and I, and granted, I haven't really got that far, but it... Watch out! Get away! Oh, no! <laughs> I haven't really got that far, but so far, it has been a lot of fun. So, what is it? Well, if you haven't guessed already, it is based around sailing the open seas and whatnot, and, you know, killing things, and trading, and stuff like that, and buying ship upgrades, and, you know, better ships, and, you know, change the colours of your sails, and, ah, uh, it's awesome. And it's got some RPG elements to it as well, which I'll, I'll show you now. I've actually got talents, which is very nice. Um, what to pick? What to pick? Apparently improving movement speed of 5% is as simple as probably aligning the seals with the wind. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, who knew? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, so I should probably keep this up. So, you have talent points, and of course you have XP and whatnot. And to get XP, it's actually fairly, it's fairly simple. Actually, any... Oh, oh, shot's fired. I'm actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to somewhere safe so I can explain a little bit. As you can see, I picked a very original name. So I have Captain Barbosa. Oh, salvage. Captain Barbosa, of course. I could have, you know, actually picked Captain Flame. It would have made more sense, but I thought Captain Barbosa. It sounds better. So anyway, there are multiple ways you can actually earn XP. And in fact, anything you do really in the game will earn you XP. So I'm going back to another region. So... I should probably explain what that's about as well. So the the game itself, the world itself, is procedurally generated in the sense that let's bring up the, the big map. This here is the the map in itself. This is the entire map. And each little square, each little section is another region. And each region, the idea behind it is to actually control it for your faction. And each faction has their own benefits and whatnot that I'm I'm not I don't actually know offhand. All I know is the one that I have at the minute. They sort of um actually gain more XP whenever they you know, they fight pirates and stuff and they get uh, discounts to certain ships and stuff like that. So it's it's cool. So each each region has their own climate and it also has their own challenge level, so a difficulty level essentially. So the farther you go out, the more difficult it'll get, of course, and you know, you'll know you find bigger and badder pirates. Um, because you yourself, you're not actually a pirate, you're, you're, you're just a sailor, you're a humble sailor trying to make his way in the world on the high seas. Be that actually, you know, trading, going back and forth from uh, each town to trade, or you can actually get quests from them, or commissions, or consignments, one of the two, from each town as well. And the more quests, or the more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, sort of resources you give to them will actually increase their uh, town level and the higher their town level then the better sort of equipment and stuff that you can buy for your actual ship. So I'm gonna hop into this one here. Um, what's this one called? Lead nil low. So if I click on this you'll see here the market has fishing tools, marble, lumber, meat and jewellery. Now you can see that fishing tools, marble, lumber all have the green number. That means they have those there items that you can buy. So I could buy, say, the, the two marble here and that'll go into my cargo slots right there. At the minute I only have two but the bigger ships you buy the more cargo you can hold. And this is your inventory that actually holds the different sort of um, let's see, the different upgrades I suppose for your ship that you can get right here. So these are very cool and you also of course have your customization items there as well. So I'll hop back into the, the town as well. I'll try and explain this as fast as possible to get into a bit of gameplay, a bit of fighting or something. 
probably fighting would be would be better. So once you get this, this marble, you can then take it to one of these other towns. You can actually bring up the map here, and um, it'll show you all the other towns. And if you hover over each town, it'll tell you what they have an abundance of, which is, of course, where you'd go to buy the stuff, because it'll be cheaper, and what has a shortage. So as you can see here, Tortuga, yeah, I named it Tortuga. <laughs> so as you can see here, they have a shortage of jewellery, lumber, leather and fur. If we were to buy some of those from either other place for cheap, we'll come here to sell it. And that will go towards increasing the size of Tortuga. And of course that goes for any other one as well. So not only that, <coughs> there's not only these towns, but there is sort of little little structures you can build here, like lighthouses that actually increase the view radius. So if you, you are somewhere else in the map here, and uh, there's a pirate roaming around your... Well, we'll say Tortuga for now. If there's a pirate roaming around Tortuga and they go near the lighthouse, you'll be able to see that up in the mini-map here. And of course you could decide whether or not to go there, because they'll, they'll try and capture your lighthouse to make it their own. Which brings me on to another way of earning this XP. So, actually trading back and forth doesn't gain you XP. Um, like actually just taking resources from one area and selling them another. That's just your way, sort of an easy way to make gold. But, if you pillage towns, Say um, if Led Nilo got uh, took over by pirates here. If I went there, if I well, I'm already here. But if I went back here, I could capture this again. I essentially plunder it, and you get a bunch of gold, and you get a bunch of uh, XP as well, as uh, some reputation towards the faction you're in. And at the minute, I'm I'm not too sure on how the faction reputation is. Um. I mean, I know this is the faction standing here, as you can see, I'm associate. Maybe the more reputation you have with towns or whatever, um, the better discount you get, I guess. But, oh wow, there's just, I've just gone back and forth, there's just so much. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the lighthouses, so you can capture uh, lighthouses as well, and they will become yours. Uh, well, your factions, and you get XP for that there, as well as gold and stuff. It's pretty, pretty cool. So, what I'm actually going to do is, um, I'm going to I'm gonna head down to Tortuga here. Oh, that's another thing, just seeing the, the little bit of uh, little salvage here. Those there are little random bits of salvage that you can collect. So, they all have the likes of gold and other resources down here. Oh god, I'm, I'm messing out on things here. So, aside from the actual sort of cargo, I guess, that you can buy from the town, so there's actual resources that you use. So you have gold, uh, wood, stone, and black powder. Now, I know obviously gold is used for buying things and stuff. Wood is actually used for repairing. So you can repair your ship by, oh, here's another thing I forgot. <laughs> so you repair your ship by using your repair ability. So obviously because it has RPG elements, there is sort of abilities that you can use. Aside from just firing normally from the cannons here on the side, you can use different abilities and they have different um, different effects really. Like chain shot, if you were to fire that, as it says there, it would hinder the hostile ships. So it would make them, you know, a bit more sluggish, not being able to turn tighter. The reckless volley is, you know, a powerful attack and stuff like that. And of course, the stars here are different abilities that you can train into as well. I haven't got that far yet, so I don't, I don't actually know about that. But anyway, the wood is used to repair your ship. It's also used to repair the likes of the guard tires, as well as actually helping to. Um, builds the guard tires or the, um, the lighthouses quicker as well, so that's pretty cool. There is there is uh, quite a bit in the early access, and I have to admit it it plays really well. It does play really well. It's also only being developed by one person, and I have to say he's doing quite an awesome job, and I can't wait to see what else is in store. But anyway. Back to the uh, resources here. You have stone, which is the resource that you used. As you can see there, it says it's used for construction upgrades of various structures. So 
so far I've only seen it being able to sort of upgrade or well not really upgrade but repair guard towers that's all I've seen that for and black powder is I haven't actually used it yet to be honest black powder explodes violently when lit that's you know it's given propelling solid projectiles through soft squishy bodies so at first I kind of thought oh so that's sort of your, your ammunition as such that you, you'll use for firing your cannons and stuff. But I haven't tested it, funny enough. I have not tested it. You'd think I would, but other than that, that's that's the resources you have. And as I said, you could get those from those little salvage boxes here, the little, little fruity things. So as, apart from actually getting, as you can see, I've got a bunch of them. So aside from getting resources, there's a chance to actually pick up um, like crews and stuff like that as well as other parts and as you'd expect each part uh, gives you sort of different benefits there which um, or just loads of them it would it would make this video quite long and I'd say a little, a little bit boring just to explain that all to to you guys but most of them are quite self-explanatory like damage there for the cannons range critical blah 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 and stuff of that nature but anyway let's go to Tortuga here see what quests they have for us to do right now the region we are in is essentially a starting region it's it's essentially a safe zone so it's it's always going to be yours unless of course one of the other factions decides to wage war which again i haven't sort of explored that part of the end game yet i guess so let's click on tortuga here as you can see we have it at size 7 of 10 this is actually the the multiplayer server that me and my friend actually play on so hopefully he doesn't see this video and see that I'm playing it on without him a little bit here but anyway um, here we're on the rumors page and this the rumors essentially tells you where you can get stuff cheaply and where would be best to sell it stuff like that for instance here the top one there um, Tortuga has an abundance of marble if we were to buy some marble we could then sell it for a profit at Yearsville which um, we could do now but um, let's let's just Let's build something. Capture a pirate ship, that's new. We might do that in a second. But first, I'm going to build a guard tower here. So, commission offer. The governor of Tortuga. Uh, doesn't make sense, because Tortuga's a free town thing. But anyway, they, they don't know that. It's, they, we're, we're secretly pirates, but they don't know. So anyway, the governor of Tortuga is getting increasingly more paranoid. He is now almost certain that pirates are about to raid his mansion and steal his treasures. And I have to burp. Pardon me. Excuse me. That was very rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> so they're about to raid his mansion and steal his treasures. He is offering commission for any captain willing to build some coastal defences in the vicinity. So we've picked that up and now we've actually got the ability to build a guard tower. Now I've actually got the quest from him before and I built the guard tower over there but apparently it didn't actually count. So I'm going to whack it right beside the town, right here. There we go, commission complete. So we lost a bunch of resources but we gained some XP. Now I can use my repair ability and left click on that and it starts the repairs and it increases the build time or decreases the build time I suppose so that's it complete now that will fire on enemies automatically when they get close but unfortunately well not really unfortunately it kind of makes sense but if they actually destroy that they can call it their own and actually build it up themselves so it will be on their side essentially so back to Tortuga here let's see capture a pirate ship I've never done this here um this type of thing before i didn't know it was possible to capture ships but let's see what we can do here so a particularly vicious pirate known as rasmer has been spotted terrorizing the open waters in the vicinity of tortuga the governor has put a hefty bounty on any ship able to bring that villain to heel and tow his ship to tortuga don't know about this one captain a pirate has a scary reputation that's all right have you seen my ship i'm awesome so you have a nice little waypoint here that uh or guy or what what's what's the name like sort of a, a gps marker there, click that so that's that's actually something i should say there they the salvage doesn't actually sort of um automatically collect so close to your ship the reason it is collecting so fast for me is because i have this grappling hook there that i find 
very, very useful. So here's this Rasmer guy. I've no idea how to capture shit. I'm guessing I just pummel him down and he automatically uh, captures, but there you can see the cannons are firing. We're going to fire a vicious, or what's it called? A reckless volley. And we have a friendly ship now helping us and engaging. So I'm going to keep firing at him here. Oh, he's getting in my way. He's not getting in my way. Now this tactic, what I'm doing right now, is not the best thing. Oh, oh, he yeah, automatically gave up. Alright, cool. So, um, what do I do? Right click. Can't repair that. Hire. So if I hire you, is that how it works? I hire you, and you'll now follow me, I, I guess? Is that how it works? Um... I guess that's how that works. Or did I just complete it? I think I just completed it, didn't I? I'm not sure. I think I just completed it and I hired him for no reason. But that's something I can talk about again now as well. So all these other ships here, you can actually hire them to follow you. And of course if they follow you, they, they'll help you capture... Um, well, they, they'll help you fight things. If you want, you can actually send them off to... Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, so I had to bring them back. That captured that awesome stuff. So, what you can do with hired sort of um, vessels here, they will follow you, so they will... And I'm not sure if they have sort of a, a timer. I do know that they are sort of a temporary thing. They're meant to be a temporary thing, so they don't just follow you all the time. But you can order them to go places as well. So, for instance, say Lead and Low here was captured. I could hire a couple of these guys, and I could right-click on Lead and Low, and then I can click Send Followers here. And they'll, they'll go to that place. Whether or not they capture it all depends on uh, if there's pirates defending it and the likes. So that was pretty cool. I didn't I didn't know there was a mission like that. But <coughs> excuse me. So far that is the gist of the game. You essentially try and take over so you sort of control each of these regions and eventually you'll come across the other factions and you can choose to wage war against them as well and just dominate everything. But so far that is it. It it seems that it could get a little bit repetitive down the line, you know, the the farther you get. But at the minute I still have quite a bit to um to explore really. And I have a fair few ships I can buy actually. I'll show you the ships here quickly that I could buy. So the sloop is the starter ship. So it is then you get the sloop of war. I think I'm I was saying that right, the sloop of war, I'm not sure. But this is the ship I have nope, that's the ship I have at the minute. The sloop of war is the ship I have at the minute. So then you have the schooner, the brigantine, royal brigantine, brig of war, galleon, which is actually one that I think that's the one that has the most cargo space. So that's pretty cool. And I think there's a couple of other ships as well as a secret hidden ship that I haven't actually read up on or anything like that. So that's going to be a lovely surprise. What else can I show you quickly here before the video ends? Um, the vault, this is what you'd expect. It's sort of like a bank where you can put things in and the likes of that there, which is pretty nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up by establishing a new town. We shall do that. We'll finish up this video by uh, establishing a town. So, commission offer, 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 commission offer. Captain, the colonists are getting restless at Tortuga. Oh no, that sounds like pirates, all right. Ooh, I mean, we're not pirates. So some of them even want to leave and are seeking your assistance. If you help them establish a new town by sailing them to a suitable location, you will even get marginally compensated for your troubles. So we will accept that. Now, I was a little bit disappointed that you couldn't establish a town where you wanted, but then my friend actually said it, it would probably be... Um, a little cheaty, I suppose, because essentially you could put towns really close together, and it would um, it would make for easy sort of trading. Uh, but anyway, what you have to do is you left click on the establish an outpost, and it actually should tell you where to go. Yeah, there we go. So it actually tells you where to go to establish the town, which is just right here, so that's not too far. So we'll left click there. 
Now we can name this town. What 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 will we name the town? Um, I don't know. What 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 could we name it? We'll 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 name it Barbosaville. Barbosaville. There we go. <laughs> so my my friend's gonna gonna notice that. So he is if he if he's here. But anyway, so far first impressions. The game is amazing. I'm having so much fun. It's it is actually awesome, and it's it's sort of pirate themed, and everyone loves pirates. Pirates are awesome, but anyway, again, as first impressions, it is very very awesome, very very polished for an early access title as well, especially for being only made so far by one person. I think it's been out in early access on Steam now for a couple of months or so. And it is awesome. It's very, very cool. I definitely recommend you at least check it out or, or have a little nosy at more videos if this is your first time noticing Windward. But anyway, I actually, you know what? I'm actually thinking of doing a Let's Play on this as well, but I've never really sort of got the gist of how to do the Let's Play, like how I would go about recording it, maybe record it in batches and, you know, schedule them and stuff like that. I'm not too sure. Leave a comment below, guys, if you would actually like to see me do a little Let's Play of this. I, I, I probably would definitely do a Let's Play as well, because it's pretty fun. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.